Farmers Insurance has officially announced that they're no longer going to be writing insurance in Florida with an asterisk symbol. This is actually a really interesting story because I actually am part of this story and I'll dive in and explain just exactly how this came to fruition. If you know the history, I actually started my career off at a company called 21st Century and that was a company that farmers owned and purchased back previously to me joining. It was right around 2011, I believe, is when they purchased them. And that company grew very fast. Fast forward to today, they're only in one or two states. I think they're only in California now, where they dissolved the entire company, absorbed the book they wanted, and dumped the rest. They sold it to other companies. Something similar to that has been happening. And I actually, when I worked there, saw the similarities of that happening in the industry that we're seeing now. So the article, yes, is very powerful. We're gonna go into some statistics and I've got some answers for those that need help and need advice as far as what to do next. But Farmers Insurance has officially announced that the Farmers Insurance brand, then I say that specifically because there's different brands that they have, but the Farmers Insurance brand is no longer doing home, auto, or umbrella. Foremost is actually a company that they use for auto that is still gonna be continuing doing business there. And this is very similar to what happened in 2011. So 2011, if you don't know, they had this huge hiring in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and they said, everybody's gonna be joined and we're gonna build 1,400 jobs. A few years later, they cut it down to 900 jobs because they couldn't fulfill the promise. Part of that was sort of seeing what the industry was. When I was an agent in their call center style environment, it was actually a decent place to work and they had a lot of training, a lot of like different things. It wasn't a bad situation. But we were always known as the redheaded stepchilds. We knew that 21st century was just their test dummy. And if you look at their history, Farmers has been known to purchase companies and essentially stop their business. Similar to them recently purchasing MetLife and essentially stopping the business there, just like other companies are doing with different commercial and just non-renewing the business going forward. What's happening is Florida is that state where they're having the most problems. It's not just farmers, it's most companies. There's 10 plus companies that have gone completely insolvent. If you look at the statistics back in December, about 100,000 policies that Farmers Brand has in Florida. Now keep in mind, their bigger piece is that Bristol West and that Foremost brand. So that is not part of the piece that's being stopped. So when you're looking at your policy, if it says Foremost or Bristol West or one of those sub brands, it doesn't directly say Farmers Insurance, it can say Farmers, a sub company of, and that usually means that sub company is not part of what we're talking about. It's only about 2% of Florida. Don't get me wrong, that is upsetting the governor (laughs) that is running this whole state because they were blind to this. They didn't see this happening and it was a hush hush. Farmers didn't tell anyone until just a couple days before it was announced that it was officially happening. That does mean non-renewing policies. It's not just like we saw in California from my previous video where they're pausing the business and they're keeping the old business. They're wiping the slate. They're saying we're non-renewing anybody that's part of the farmer's brand in that state of Florida. We're also no longer writing the insurance in that state. So now the question is, what's going to happen to the agents? Well, the agents aren't in a complete disarray, although a huge chunk of their business has just left. Even though most of their business, I would imagine, is focusing on life insurance and focusing on the products they can sell, which is more of the Bristol West and the Foremost brand. Don't get me wrong, that's going to put a big upset on the farmer's brand in this scenario. Now, if you're in Florida and you are looking for insurance, I'll put a link in the description below because I actually started working with some companies that are very competitive in that state. So I get it, every policy is really ridiculously high right now, but there are a few independent agents that are a little bit more competitive in that specific situation. So if you are with farmers or if you're with a different company and you're looking for someone else, I'll put that link in the description below. But let's continue what I was talking about as far as my history with them. So yes, we felt like we were the redhead stead stepchild and all like that it was just kind of a weird environment like okay they were testing different things with us hey can we take this group of people off the phone and have them try these leads hey can we try having you guys teach our agents hey can we try this and eventually they tried so many things that they got all their tests out i don't know or they just decided that the 21st brand was just not worth keeping Yes, in California, they kept them, and that's kind of their their bread and butter. They are profitable there, but in the rest of the states, they weren't. So they took that book of business, sold some of it to other companies, and the good pieces of it that they wanted to keep, they transferred them or offered to process them into Foremost. 
That's probably what you're going to see here in Florida because the governor is saying that they have to find a way to direct the business. And I believe Farmers has a plan for this. This isn't their first rodeo. Likely what they're going to offer a lot of people, I would probably say 30 to 50 percent. They're very tight on the business they want. They're going to try to transfer them or convert them into Foremost or Bristol West clients. Now, the thing that Farmers is doing correctly, they've been very strategic because they keep the Farmers brand whole. What I mean by that is they try to keep the light on that brand as that shiny, clean, brand new car where they keep the other brands as kind of the half broken cars, the daily drivers and whatnot. And so all of the really clean, really good business tends to end up in that farmer's home to where they've protected that. If you go look at JD Power, JD Power's listed them as one of the top companies as far as customer satisfaction. So the company itself has been a good staple and part of it is because they let the other brands, in my opinion, take the slack of the lesser quality type product. Now, I'm not saying that they are because I don't work at Bristol West and I'm not their, this is opinion, don't sue me. <laughs> but that's, at least when I worked there, that was the case, right? If you weren't a fit for farmers, you would pivot to a Bristol West and you'd have to have a higher credit score. You'd have to have a, be a better client and you still wouldn't get as good of a price. But if you had to buy it, that was an option. So you got denied here. They gave you the option over here. Let's look at the timeline. So this is strategic. So farmers is very smart. Look at what they've done recently. There's an article that just recently went out. It's from Insurance Business, and it's called Farmers Insurance Faces Flack After Return to Office Call. If you guys haven't researched this, you'll notice that some of these large companies are calling all of the people back into the office. Farmers made it a three-day mandatory. So if you're in an area where there's a large office, you have to at least spend three days in the office. They get a lot of hatred from this, to be honest with you. And part of the reason, if you look at what these companies are doing, is they realize like, hey, if we come out and say we got to do layoffs, we know that our market share is going to drop. The confidence in our company is going to drop. We're going to look bad. Our customers are going to want to look elsewhere. All of the things that come negatively with those things, with having to lay off people, follows that. The best and easiest way to fix that is to force employees back into an environment where they don't want to be. Most people are used to and comfortable from the working from home, and now that they're being forced in, they're going to lose employees. That's usually planned. Most of these companies want that to happen so that they no longer have to, one, pay the salaries, but two, they're already paying for the building. So some of those credits and those costs that they're getting credited back, they're losing because they just have an empty building. Someone's still got to maintain it. They still have to pay for electricity. All those things are being billed, and now they don't have employees there. So allowing the employee to take the credit versus them taking the credits is now something that they need to fix. That shows an instability across the board. What's the next logical step to fix that instability? No layoffs. Let's keep the brand strong. Let's keep that shiny clean. Let's bring people back in the office. 20% or 10% or whatever the percent will quit. Great. We fixed that part. Now, who's causing the most bleeding? That happens to be for them, California and Florida. They've already paused the business in California for homeowners, and they are now officially have backed out of Florida in general. There is one uproar, though, because this has happened. The governor has gotten very upset. He wasn't aware that this was happening until just recently. As a tweet that he pushed out, they're going to investigate farmers heavily. Once again, I think Farmers is prepared for this situation because they've gone through this before. They understand this part and they, one, have to give 120 day notice. So you have about three to four months before they're going to officially give you the non-renewal or non-cancel. So if you've renewed recently or are renewing soon, you're likely OK for another year. If you want to keep it, great, there you go. If you're still shopping, like I said, links in the description below. Now that scrutiny is going to be difficult. They're going to look at every single policy that they can to see if there's any insolvencies or any complaints that farmers has had that they can actually go back to farmers and force them to pay. Governments do have a lot of power in insurance, and if they haven't really regulated them tight enough, they're going to now. Before they let them leave the state, they're going to make sure that all of the paid out to the customers, it's prorated. They want all of you to get the refunds that you deserve to the amount you paid and essentially make sure that you are made whole when they leave. To the up to 100,000 homeowners that are losing their insurance, I feel for you. That is going to be a headache. It is time to shop and it is time to look around. It might be worth a chance to check if you really like your farmer's agent because they're 
still there. They're, they live there. That's their life, right? And they might have a second option, but fingers crossed. There is a tough market happening right now. For the 2,000 agents that are in Florida, in between Miami and Orlando and Dade and all of those counties, I feel for you. I hope that there is an option for you to go. Otherwise, we're going to see a lot of business being left in that state. This will, unfortunately, will scuff that farmer shiny car that we just talked about. Similar to the fiasco that's happening in California, farmers and State Farm are both having these issues. I'll put the video here if you want to check that out. Otherwise, if you are going to shop and you're going to start calling around, you may want to learn about some of the discounts. I'll put my discounts 101 video here that might help you get some extra discounts, prices off, and pieces that might save you some extra money. I'm Mark with Think Insurance. I'll see you in the next one.